Well, here we are. Hello, how are you doing? You know, I feel like death. I don't know if Why? I can talk. <laughs> Why do we fucking do this to ourselves? Does this not happen every single time someone drinks? Right? Like, um, I think at my age, uh, I guess this is what happens every time I drink. You're like, we're going to have fun. It's just going to be a good oh, night. Chill. And it is. And then always next morning, it's like, man. Why? Like the audience had to know that this is what we were going to be oh, sure. like. Right? Well, we will say this. We did the drunk mm-hmm. advice episode. Mm-hmm. Very curious to see how it went because I don't. A lot of it's very fuzzy. Uh, yeah. Um, don't really know how well it's going to turn out. We'll see. We'll see. I'll have to edit that one up. We'll make it a fun little, because I think it was long, it right? It was very long. It was very long. Some of the guys were, the guys were the most long-winded ones. I yeah. I feel like talking, to, and and just went off on tangents about other things. Yeah. Right? Um, I'll say this. It though. was fun. When you're drunk and involved in it, it's fun. I feel like for anyone sober and a clear mind listening to drunk people just you never know rifting yeah. and going off yeah. on things they're gonna yeah. be like really i know well okay. thankfully we preface it with like hey we're really drunk yeah we're gonna give you drunk advice and the guys that come in are drunk so i don't know Correct. but it was fun oh um God. i don't know how much i totally remember after the show correct mm-hmm. so where i screwed up because i always do this you know the morning that you wake up yeah and by the way it was like on the dot like 5 50 this morning that you woke straight up? out of bed you know that game like don't wake daddy oh yeah that's how i fucking <laughs> sat up yeah in my bed like fuck i got my makeup on still which i hate oh, sleeping I in my makeup I did that too. and I with did my that face too. just being microneedled and needing like the moisture, moisture yeah i was like fuck so i washed my face and then i did the whole like let's think about what happened last night before i try to go back to sleep sure where was the point of my night where i went wrong right wrong. it was did i not tell you yeah. yesterday when we talked about strike yep. force to not drink this at all when you're drinking yep i took shots of whiskey sure Chased it with whatever was left in this because it tasted better than my drink. Uh-huh. And that's where the night went downhill. That's where it turned. I don't do shots. Um, why the fuck whiskey? Da- it, it downhill. Sh- but. Shots. No, no. Well, yeah, for me. I mean, it was fun. No, it was still great. Yeah, yeah. I don't think any, like, not sure if anything bad happened. I guess no. we'll find out. Um, I don't feel like it did. Yeah. But, um, so you were taking shots of whiskey. I, I mean, it was I more knew- like slugs like okay, just slugging it back bottle. Okay. but i don't know why i mm-hmm. felt the need to all of a sudden i felt sure. like i was invincible yep like ugh, alcohol can't touch me you get to that point where you're a new you the guys and were this, giving it to me yeah putting the ball bo- okay yeah which then again here here we are with all men and this is where uh, we've talked about before you can't yeah. drink like the guys and don't get me wrong i wasn't trying to no but eric was giving you know he was trying to give me root beer float i'm like dude i can't yeah i, I know my limits i can't yeah. do root beer rum floats yep so yeah and i think that's where tiffany got drunk okay doing cartwheels out in the road yeah but i mean i mean a fun a fun tiffany drunk we didn't have like music to dance so you needed to go be a gym gymnast i was trying to be an aspiring gymnast outside thinking that all of a sudden alcohol gave me these superpowers to be this incredible athlete which it did not well i mean you were doing you were doing some pretty i did a back bend stuff and then all of a sudden dan was like do a flip and i was like all right I don't think I can, and I wasn't gonna try. You could have killed yourself. Out Andrew there. Whiskey Barrel was out there, yeah, helping me. We were both helping each other try to stand up from. It was like we were kids having yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it you was know, fun. and other people were breaking down, crying, and other people were yep. just like talking about things, like life. I guess guys were sharing their life secrets with everyone. Yeah, yeah. When the bros get together, so it was a bunch of drinking bros that came. Yeah, not too many broettes. I'm. I know. Bummed about that, Texas. but. Apparently has more Texas. We're gonna do another one, Broet meetup. Mm-hmm. So I think we need to make it specific. I agree, Broet, and like the guys want to come, like the guys Her, in the company, yes. maybe like the man fans. Jared, maybe man fans, maybe, but like Not it's gonna thing, be, though. yeah, yeah. It was fun. It was great. Yeah. I loved like connecting with everyone that was here, Absolutely. and you know, everyone. I like hearing the stories about how our podcast gets people through. That's mm to me is huge because I think podcasts have kind of gotten me through stuff too. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Just 
even if you're not even talking about stuff that pertains to me, you're just talking Mm -hmm. and I'm sitting there listening and like talking's healthy. It's healthy. And like hearing other people talk and, and like you're sitting with them. I don't know. It helps. And we're happy that, you know, it's affected people in that way. And I always love hearing that. Yeah. That story. Um, I know. I I remember at one point of the night wondering where you were. Yeah. And I saw you being talk, and I was like, oh, yeah. And that was actually probably one of the coolest parts. I actually felt bad. So I apologize to anyone who was there who all of a sudden, if we were having a conversation, I felt like then I got pulled away again. And And then I was in a conversation and I got pulled away again. Like, oh, it's hard. It's hard. So I was like, oh, I'm trying. Yeah. You know, and that's how it is at every like bro at or bro event and I think people get it yeah. right it's almost like it's like at you your birthday to talk to when everyone. you're like sorry I couldn't you're bouncing all around and then you get drunk and then you're like okay bye yeah so one um, thing I will say that I didn't realize happened last night when we okay. so we walk into the studio okay and the first thing that you smell is just pure alcohol and well, that's how it was last night and that's when I that's when I felt sick yeah because first of all I can't drink gin like the smell of gin oh, yeah, yeah, or anything yeah. Yeah, gin yeah, 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 yeah. related mm-hmm. is awful mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. It brings me back to that. You know, it's like any smell of a certain alcohol brings you back to that yep. one moment where yep. you, it just ruined it for you for the whole life, your whole life. So I walk inside from, you know, being a cool gymnast outside. Sure. Like being a real, a true athlete, true fucking yeah, athlete, a true athlete. And it smells like gin, like a gin fart bomb went off. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, coming in this morning, I see that there's a broken bottle just sitting there. And I'm like, oh, you. my God. Hit you again. No, I mean, luckily, I'm feeling a little bit better. Good. But I'm seeing the aftermath of everything that we're going to have to deal clean. with. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, fuck. And you know it's we, too. Well, me. You don't have to do anything. <laughs> no, I'm going to after this. Because I know if I don't, then it's going to just me. be on you. Actually, guys would Giorgio never. would. Giorgio would, but I don't want him to have to. Exactly, because really he's such a out. sweetheart and he would. Yeah, I know. Like he hung out a little bit, but he didn't drink oh. any of that shit. Oh my God. We need to take a picture of that table and just be like. We do. We'll put it on the well, bro. What, right? What I do remember is when we were leaving last night, seeing some people clean, right? Oh, yeah. And thinking to myself, oh, well, that's sweet of them. Yeah. And then I came in, I was like, oh, they stopped once we left. Yeah. Yeah, <gasps> they were like, "Hey, we're cleaning," and then yeah. So, um, so I didn't puke last night. Um, I think I ate some White Castle burgers. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I'm so jealous of you. Right I know now. you were trying to find Postmates and nobody would deliver to you because was, was I way late? Of course I was. <laughs> um, because you're like, I need to eat something. Like, hello, this is what happens. We gotta I mean, eat if I want to feel good tomorrow. Yep. Um, nothing. We had nothing in the studio. <clears throat> no one would deliver to you so that sucks there's I'm not a white so- castle around here though is there no i have them like i get the- frozen yeah oh my god because mm-hmm. part of me was like is there really a white castle around here no because i don't think there is in north no. carolina um maybe somewhere but I- i'm not sure that is that was like a missouri thing growing up and we didn't really go often but when we did it was traditionally hungover yeah just like jack-in-the-box tacos oh uh, the best right the or best. even like Taco Bell, but Jack Jack in the Box tacos are there's way better. There's something about because well, they're so damn greasy. There's so yeah, the oil actually just completely coating yep. the tortilla, mm, mm-hmm. and I don't even know if it's meat. Whatever, it's not like real meat, but it's great. It's, it's terrible for you. It's terrible for it's probably you. Probably like the worst of the worst that a restaurant fast food place can Absolutely. have. Absolutely, without just all getting in saturated trouble. fat and fried everything. Um, what else? Where else would I use it? Denny's or Waffle House? Yes. Was like always well, a drunk House thing in college, mm-hmm. right? And that was always helpful because you're eating something. Mm-hmm. So this is like even and this they morning. They don't serve alcohol, so you can't drink. All you're doing is eating. You're just like going quiet into well, the night. The ones in Vegas serve alcohol. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Interesting. Of course they do. Of course they Everything do. Everything in Vegas. Vegas. So. Yeah. Um, I was looking up this morning Vegemite. Have you've heard of that before? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I've heard that Vegemite is actually really good for hangovers i never had it have you tasted it um n- no okay so um, i guess it, i guess people just I? put it on yeah. toast and they say it's not only tasty for breakfast but perfect for a hangover cure apparently it's magical for two reasons one it has a lot of b vitamins so from the b vitamin group 
in particular, I guess thiamine, niacin, riboflavin, and folate, which is very good for you when you're hungover. Really? No fucking clue about that. Huh. And then also alcohol is a diuretic. So diuretics make you pee more. So you'll lose more water. So when you start eating Vegemite in the morning, that'll actually replace those B vitamins um, that have that you weeded out that night before. Crazy. Mm-mm, but it's... Well, the second one, they say it's really salty, mm. right? So if you eat anything that's salty, you're going to want to drink more. Therefore, it helps, I guess, hydrate you. Yeah. When in my case, I'll just do some fucking liquid IV water. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Then do this. Exactly. But the biggest thing that they say for hangover cures, like the number one thing is to have a drink in the morning. I know. But I mean, is that really or you know what I well, mean? Well, yes and when no. you think about it, I'm pretty sure, too, your body is going through the, the breakdown of it's no longer has alcohol in its yes. system. So it's acting up because it needs a little bit in ways. I yeah. feel. I'm sure there's scientific ways and I'm not going to dan this, you know, right. get into it. But because I don't know. <laughs> Let's just be fucking Let's real. Let's just be honest. We don't I really just know. I don't fucking know. But um, Bloody Marys, are you a Bloody Mary girl? Um, I used to be. Yeah. I don't drink like hard liquor, but. Oh, um, yeah. That's so I would thing. do like a mimosa. Oh. A mimosa. Yeah. And those are still better for the morning, I hear. Right. But I need a hangover cure for when you have to go to the pediatrician I, with your kids at eight in the morning and when you have to like go to work and pay HOAs. Yeah. Not just vacation. Mm-hmm. Like hangover. Like, yeah, oh, we just wake up and just go drink. Because we all know that. Because who can really do that? That one we know. Or you sleep, right? Yes. Sleep is the best one. Like, it is. If you can go back to sleep. When you wake up that second time, oh, you feel amazing. Even if it's for like a half an hour. I know. So much better. It's like the best half an hour you've slept oh, in your life. Best. And you feel like a new person. Why does it seem like every single time that you drink, there's you waking up to a With sick ki- kid? Sick kid, either puking all night. It's because they know. They know. They know. They know. And they're like, no, no, no. Like, don't think that you're like out of the woods here, lady. <laughs> like... You're actually, you know what I mean? Like, you're actually still a mom. Like, don't even act for one second like you're not. I'm like, God damn it. Listen, you had your fun for the night. We're going to remind you that We're you're back to reality you. at yeah. 6 a.m. in the morning, 7 a.m., yeah. whatever. Yeah. So um, are they good? They had to get shots and they're stuff? They're good. They had to get shots, you know, for the move. You mm. need to get them all squared away and release forms for a new pediatrician and all of this. Um, They had to wear masks. We had to wait in the car. Uh, uh-huh. I know. Temperatures. We didn't get a COVID test. I was kind of hoping they would test us to make sure, but no. Oh. Okay. Um, because surely after last night, we <laughs> both have it, right? Surely. Surely one of those people had it. Was exposed, right? And we were all in close quarters. Who fucking Look, knows? who fucking cares? We. Well, I'll tell you this. Um, a lot of guys in Chris's unit, so all of third group kind of like they, a lot of these guys were getting tested to see if they did have yeah. COVID symptom or COVID in their system at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess a, apparently so many of them had the COVID, I don't want to say gene. The they, antibodies. They fucking had the antibodies in their really? system so for they it. had had it then. Interesting. Apparently a lot of people feel as if they did, they've maybe had it at some point mm-hmm. and they it just kind of like their body kicked its ass. Like yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Maybe you're just tired for a few days or like feeling really sick and down. Yeah. yeah. For a bit. And then I don't know. I don't know how people handle that or what the deal is. But apparently they did find the antibodies. Yeah. And they were like, oh, man, these guys had it and didn't, didn't even know. Yeah. Ross says to this day that he had it. Him and Dakota Meyer had it. Really? Yeah. And he's like, I had it already. We had it. We're I mean, good. he's he never got the antibody test. He's just Ross, you know. Sure. So it's fact. So it's yeah, pure fact. It's fact because he thinks it. Well, I'm pretty sure Heather thinks that she might have had it in Vegas. Which now, thinking back to it, think about how sick she was when she was out there. So she got her. So That's she was right. out there. She had like a really bad, I think, head cold and everything, and a lot of decongestant. I don't know. And I know she got her tattoo. So she thought with. Flying out to Vegas and getting a massive tattoo that her body was just, her immune system was kind of shutting down. Yeah. And then she thought to herself, I wonder if this was a fucking coronavirus. Well, when was that? March, right? That was February. February. Yeah. That was like right when, was it here yet? I mean, it must've been here. It was here. I was here in the United States. This is when people were starting to find out. This is when more and more cases were starting to be exposed. Okay. March was when things shut down. Right. So all of a sudden people were having an epiphany while they're sitting in their home going, 
wait a second. Because same thing with my sister back in December. She went to the hospital. In fact, she was so sick. And they said, you have some type of respiratory infection, but it's not yeah. anything. There's nothing. This is weird. Yeah. What is this? Yeah. Right? And she, I mean, literally for a whole week, down for the count. Like, my parents were really concerned about her. They thought but she had they pneumonia, have, walking pneumonia. They didn't have the, like, COVID testing at that they time. They didn't have the testing at the time because they didn't know if that was... So she should now get tests for antibodies. She should. To just see. to be like, did I have it? Have it, yeah. Because once you do, then you're like, good. But I'm curious how, if civilians can just do that willy-nilly. So in the military, these guys, like, mm -hmm, special forces can. guys have their own docs that just do everything for them all the fucking time they can go into them right yeah. it's not like you really schedule sometimes an appointment they yeah. have even deltas which is the they're like very highly highly qualified medics on their team mm -hmm. so i'm sure these guys have access to a lot more stuff where it's simpler yeah whereas my sister we would have to be like okay i gotta get into the doctor like a month later yeah you know um i, I don't know something. how the antibody test works i know that they have drive-through like just testing I saw just that. to see if you have it but I don't know if that's the same. So, by the way, doesn't that look fucking awful? Ugh. Like a that's like the only thing preventing me from doing it. Gigantic, like humongous Q-tip going to your brain, all the way to yeah, like tickling your brain. Mm. Mm -mm. And every time I've seen so many people take videos of them, you know, getting it done, and yeah, yeah, the lady's like, hold still. They're like, oh my god. It's, uh, I mean, you can't. Why does it have to be so horrible? I know. Like, why does all of this shit have to be so horrible? I know every part of it. Like, and here we are drinking there and hanging out with drinking people. hanging out with a bunch of people inviting anyone yeah. like literally putting it out to like thousands of people like come on down well we're putting it out to the bros and we know all the bros and brats don't have it right oh yeah of course yeah, of course because they wouldn't come if they, they did never right would they, come would if they did never <laughs> this is the mindset where people get it yeah exactly <laughs> so i'm just waiting and i just i'll just i just need to get it and get it over with yeah you know yeah um, and then I'm going to be traveling to California. Don't know if they're going to quarantine me there. I'm curious Then I'm about going that. to uh, Texas. Don't know if they're going to quarantine me there. I don't know. It's, it changes daily. So you're going to be in, in California for two weeks. Yeah. So traditionally, quarantine is a week. Uh, 14 days, right? If they oh. really do the real quarantine. Oh, so you'll be quarantined the entire time you're there. the whole time. I mean, nothing's fucking open anyways. I guess um, that's true. So... You know, but I'm just trying to divert. I'm trying to distract my kids from the moving part. I'm just being like, we're going to go. Yeah. And then we're never coming back. <laughs> I was going to slip like, We're going on another in. vacation. Yeah. Another vacation. Wow. Yeah. This vacation's lasting really long. Hey, mom. So are we going to be going home in a year? I'm like, almost. We're still <laughs> two years later almost buddy almost still on vacation oh my God. no he he today was like we're going to texas telling the pediatrician we're going to texas oh. i'm really excited um really? she was like what are you most excited about he's like they have really big toy stores there and she's like well there you go you know what that's, that's so what i cute. said that's so, so fucking to cute. get him excited yes well i mean in all honesty everything's bigger in texas right that's what they're known everything's for. bigger we're gonna have more stuff like yes there's not just the one tiny little toy store that's yeah. next to whole foods there's like a bunch you'll have a ton of yes yeah and that so. would be the cool thing too so i come to wilmington yeah. and i'm like oh my god they have everything they have whole foods what is yeah, this yeah yeah and for you now you're now going to a big mecca of they have yeah. everything which is probably like you know that's it'll nice. be good anytime i moved i would look to the area and be like oh the Trader Joe's is not an hour and a half away yeah. from me now. It's 15 minutes. This is kind of cool. Yeah. Okay, what, what else can I find Yeah. nearby? Yeah. Playing, you know, the positive game. Playing right? the positive game. Yeah. But it was good. I'm glad that we did. I'm glad that we did the party me too. last night. I'm besides, glad that we. Yeah. Besides what? Feeling how I feel. Feeling how I feel, too. Like, I need to get through two more shows after this. Oh. And then. <laughs> two? I'll be, yeah. Okay. So I have RPR and then I have the news. I might bail on the news. I don't know. I can't hear Dan talk about that bullshit right now. Oh, God, no. Ugh. He was in such a good mood last night. I too. know. Can and we he's going to come in in the worst mood today. He's going to be today. in the worst mood today. But he was so happy last night. Uh, it was, was fun. He was that actually was smiling. Really fun. Yeah. The whole night. Which, the by the way, night. if you don't believe us and you want to see Dan smile and you still think it's an anomaly, well, next time you better fucking come and hang out. And you can see him smile all night long. Exactly. So. He will. <laughs> he was even still smiling while he was trying to choke me out. Then I slapped him in the face. Do you remember that? Yeah. Why was he? 
Dude, he legit was, was trying to choke you? me out. Like, I don't know what it, right? It was like a fucking quick moment. I think while I was in my gymnast mode uh-huh. and thinking that I'm, uh, you know, can do anything. A true athlete, He thought yeah. he could just come over and try to choke me out. And I was like, oh. are you fucking kidding me? I'm going to, so the one thing I wanted to do was you, since he was on top of me mm-hmm. and on my back, right? You grab a hold of his arm. Yeah. The one arm that's not doing most of the work. And you take that. And as you put pressure on the arm to fling him forward, you oh, just oh, yeah. take your foot and, you know, basically swipe his leg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, dude, I'm about to do this. Yeah. If you, and it's going to fucking hurt. Yeah. If you don't stop. <laughs> and he wasn't. <laughs> if and, you don't stop. And so then I went to hit him in his dick. Yeah. Because that's what girls do too, right? To get out of it. You, you have get, to. Like, right? Thankfully. And so the minute he realized I was going to do that, he was like, oh my God, stop. And I was like, stop choking me. Oh my God, stop. I was like, I legit can't breathe. Oh and then later God. on, we were talking about slapping or something. I think one of the guys brought it up and how I worked the interrogation part. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And I mean, let's just be real. When you can't talk much about it, but in the Air Force, we do interrogations yeah. on our students and high risk of capture um individuals and when you think about it you're simulating a real world environment that if they were captured by the enemy how would the enemy treat them the enemy is going to visit like verbally physically and mentally abuse them right so in our training we simulate that through a lot of different things yeah essentially and that's yeah. all i will say and obviously one of them was like a slap in the face yeah it's very like um it's unexpected most of the time it's very humiliating yeah it pisses people off yeah you know, it's and like so, the worst thing. That yeah, can like no yeah. one wants that to fucking happen, right? It's yeah, like, yeah. And so that simulates anything that could possibly be done to you. So just to get him back, I did that, but yeah. I did it within. It was. Oh, I think I remember that. I didn't, you know, just big old slap. Like I did it within regs. Cause yeah. It, and he was like, "I like that." And I was like, "Okay, that's weird." We're, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And then his brother was like, "Did you hurt him?" I was like, "I can't." My little Come baby on. ass hand. Come I know, on. I know I got ET fingers. And they're long, but but my baby hand's not gonna hit hurt him. His beard probably like deflected most of the pain. Yeah, anyway, exactly, because that's a magic beard, and probably his cold dead heart too. <laughs> Just kidding. We Just, love you, we Dan. Do. Um, yeah. So, fuck. How am I gonna get through the day? No, we anyway, got this. We do. We got. We got this. We got this. Well, I'll what tell you. you yeah, what I'll are tell you, you this right now. Um, my face is not happy. I don't know if any of you ladies out there have got microneedling done before. Have you? You've gotten it done. No, I want to. So oh, you bad. haven't? Yeah. Have you gotten a... Um, I've never gotten like a peel or anything. Oh, I was just going to ask you if you got I a don't want to get the... Don't I'm get scared the of the peel. Um, that is like when I see people get that, that's hardcore. The microneedling, I've never... Even you say there's like stuff, but I don't even see it. Do you know what I mean? It's true. Well, because I'm very close. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Uh, so I did get the peel done the first time, right? And it was a pretty... I think it was like the first time I met you. You had the oh peel. Oh my god! It and was you were on the show. Yes, and I was my, like, oh, I look sunburned. Yeah, like it wasn't bad, but I was like, oh, that's a peel. Like that's not bad. No, it didn't look. But horrible. that was like the first day, Jesse. Oh, that's right, and then it gets worse after. You weren't that. even there when we went to Max Speed Shop. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh! So I was very self conscious of getting it done. It felt like my, you know, felt like I sat in the sun for fucking days. Yeah, yeah. I was sunburnt. Everything felt very dry into the crisp, and you know, as you talk, like. Yes, things feel yes, dry yes. and you hate that yeah as the day went on i got drier and drier on my face but i was just kind of like whatever dan yeah. will tell me if i look like an idiot yeah, yeah. which he w- didn't he wouldn't thank god ross was there right so he it, would oh yeah he would he, he would. would yeah and so we're eating at max speed shop and we're talking we're talking we're talking and all of a sudden ross is like you got a big like chunk, chunk of coming skin coming off, off. like and I did. Shut up. And I was like, excuse me? So I went to the bathroom, patted down with water, and I was like, okay, it's time to go. <laughs> like, I'm I not going to sit here and let my... conscious yeah. of it anyway. I'm not going to let my face fall off in front of these people. No. Yeah, yeah. Especially the first time I meet It just meet, starts, like, like coming off, too. Dang. Yeah, and so it starts coming off, and some people's come off very different, and you can't peel it either. You just got to let it... Oh. You just got to let the skin go. Because yeah, if you yeah. start peeling yeah, it, yeah. you can damage your skin. Yeah, now you're, like, getting into, like, rips and stuff. Yeah. Look up Fantastic Four. And you know what I'm talking about? I know it's like who you're the thing, about. whatever the fuck it's called. Is it like Fantastic Four? Is it Hellboy? No. No, but I, it looked very similar. Um, Fantastic Four, I'm pretty sure it's called The Thing. Oh, okay. Um, that's what my face looked like. No fucking joke. It, it was all cracked all over. 
and just chunks of oh, skin yeah. were just sitting there in yeah. cracks. Yeah. It looked like a dry desert oasis on my motherfucking face. How long did that take? A whole goddamn week, Jesse. Oh, shit. And by the way, like, I'm, at, I'm working. Yeah. So I'm in the fucking... I'm going no. in in uniform. No. Mm-hmm. With yeah. this. Embarrassed. Right. Thank God I didn't have to teach that week. Yeah, yeah. Um, for some reason, I get this done or have things scheduled, of course, after like this. Yeah. Um, I did like a little meetup with a bunch of girls in the area from Instagram. Oh, yeah, They yeah. all were like, hey, we'd love to meet you. And I was like, yeah, let's all meet up. We'll work out together. We'll all hang out. Yeah. And of course, I looked like this. Yeah. And, you know, when people see you on Instagram... They think you look that way. Yeah. That, you know, as you should. Hey. Right? Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Unfortunately, some people do use a lot of like Facetune and smoothers and, you know, and while I can understand some, you don't want to like look completely different. Right. And then in this case, I was, I was like, I I don't look like this all the time. I swear. Like I literally got a peel. Yeah. Which I don't even think I should have been out in the sun. No. Fucking doing that. I mean, I had a, a glob ton of. They barely sunscreen on my face at uh, my dermatology place. They won't even let you get a peel until winter. Really? Yeah. Cause you Smart. can't like be in the sun. at Yeah. All. So yeah. to me and it took my, and of course we're human and we want um, our face to react positively immediately and see results. And that's not what happens. You know, right. after the peel, then your face looks like shit for a bit and everything's more amplified. Like all your scars yeah. and marks yeah. and melasma. And I was like, fuck. Like, but it did get better, okay. right? Because your skin starts to heal, and yeah, the cells yeah. regenerate, collagens boost it back up. So anyway, I was like, I can't do a fucking peel again. No. Microneedling is very similar, has a similar effect, but doesn't keep you down for the count as long. Yeah. And it honestly just looks like you have really dry skin. Yeah. So people were asking if it hurts. They numb the shit out of your face. Yeah. You sit there with numbing cream on They're it for 20 minutes. They're pretty good with that kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And re- in reality... I was so tired that her needling the fuck out of my face was pretty relaxing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do you need some? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's like, you're like, see yourself and you're like, no. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it is a little bit. It is? Yeah. Does it huh. need to focus? Interesting. Oh. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Do we need to fix it? Yours is good. Let me fix, fix it. See, it looks clear right now, but you're blurry in it. Did it not just, maybe it didn't, um, see it looks clear. It's focused. Here, sit. Now you're clear. Okay. So maybe it so was just So what I'm wondering if second. you moved and it was for mm, a second. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, so I will say this. The, the big thing that's been a lifesaver for my skin right now. Yeah. Um, is hyaluronic acid serum. And I'm surprised you never heard of this before. I mean, I but had, but I thought it was like. I thought I got it from the dermatologist and it was like some kind of crazy shit. Yeah. Well, like so now expensive, gnarly. Right. Yeah. And everyone's making it now. Yeah. Because they're realizing that it helps with hydration. Yeah. And it helps keep your skin nice and plump. Yeah. And everything. So you put it on your hand, like you put the serum on your hands and you just kind of like pat it on your face. Right. Okay. And apparently this is, the, that's the, the way to do it. Cause I've been doing it wrong. Right. So I'm finding all this from all the gurus on TikTok and everything. And sure. everyone's showing their fucking skin regimens. I'm highly impressed. Yeah. Because even just with normal, all I can put every moisturizer on, oil, and it's not doing a thing. But this hyaluronic acid serum is. Yeah. And for me, like, I'm cheap. <laughs> Besides, I mean, a peel and a Botox here. Yeah. Or whatever else. Yeah. Other than that, yeah. Microneedling was $300. Um, For me. Not, oh, that's not horrible. No, but I'm still saying, though, like... Oh, when yeah. When you first think of it, it yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I only thought it was going to be 100 Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because to me, I'm like, man, Botox is less than that almost yeah, yeah. for me. Yeah. So then when they were like, do you want this cream added to it? I was like, how much is the cream? She's yeah. like, $75. I was like, shit, yeah. I guess. But I was like, that's expensive. Yeah. For someone who's not used to paying yeah, yeah. for that price. So Hyaluronic Acid from The Ordinary, which is this amazing company that makes all these different serums and glycolic acid toners and like everything else for super cheap. How can it be so cheap though? 
because I have a feeling they're so fu- like they so many people buy it. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Okay. It's so crazy too because all these like skincare, all the estheticians, dermatologists, and everyone are going, "Yep, yeah, this is it. Yeah, this is legit." And now everyone can get their hands on it. So I think I don't know what they did. I would have to look up the ordinary, yeah, yeah. but they did something to where they were like, "Listen, the everyday people." women or even just people in general can't get their hands on this and we need to make sure that they can yeah and honestly they're sold out everywhere everywhere i go like yeah. ulta Sep- sephora like anytime i go i'm like fuck they don't have it here. all right i need to get some hyaluronic hyaluronic acid, acid. serum serum so at first i thought it was legit acid like an ach yeah, it kind of doesn't sound good or an a AHAs, you mm-hmm. know, those assets. And I was like, oh, I can't do those on my face. It's kind yeah, of ruined yeah, yeah. my face before. But no, this is legit. I mean, I don't really know much, so don't take it from me. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and act like I fucking know exactly what it does besides hydration. Yeah. But that's been yeah. helping me like yeah. crazy right now. Nice. So I know. So I know that before when I talked about that um, leg cream stuff and a couple girls bought it, right? The magic. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, the magic And that powder. helped them. Maybe if you guys are looking for something affordable and looking for these serums. The uh, Ordinary. The Ordinary. And it's not a sponsor, so. No, definitely not a sponsor. Um, but they have the niaminicide, I don't know, and zinc, which apparently is really great for, like, cellular turnover, uh, like, dark spots. People, so, and melasma, for if you guys don't know, is, like, the dark pigmentation that people have on their lips or on their, like, um, I guess their brow area yeah. and sometimes on their cheeks. Yeah. And apparently it's from like too much estrogen yeah. in people's systems. Yeah. So when you're pregnant, ladies get yeah. it usually. Yeah. And sometimes it's uh, made worse by heat and the mm-hmm. sun. Because I notice I always have like a fucking mustache. Apparently, like when you go out and sun, in the sun, get tan and shit. Yeah. Unless I'm actually putting sunscreen on. Yeah. And they have a sunscreen. And I'm telling you, all this shit is like crazy cheap. They have this AHA plus BHA peeling solution and I use it and my skin it's like a kind of mini micro needling session yeah and obviously you want to use sunscreen the next day and not expose yourself really to the sun and not use any more like exfoliating stuff mm-hmm. but I'm telling you my skin is glowing yeah and I'm like impressed and it's $18 oh now they have it at Walmart <laughs> there dude. you go dude I love it I love it love it I know love so, it love it that help so if you guys are looking for anything out there you know that will be something that you guys can use yeah guys or girls yeah you know here's what i think is funny about guys they can they literally use a bar of soap that they mm-hmm. the same bar of soap they use on their ass yep in their hair <laughs> and their everything hair? they have is like it's an an all-in-one right so it's like shampoo body wash conditioner like how can that all be face wash and they have perfect fucking skin right yeah have you not noticed that yeah like chris does nothing to his skin nothing nothing yeah he never breaks out yep <laughs> i will say every time his mom and sister sees him they're like chris you need to use under eye like oh, oh eye cream, cream really bad and i'm like the guys the dude the dude's not gonna use it yeah no they you do know what I mean, and that's just part of it. Not Ryan. He, he's not Ryan Seacrest. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like you know that guy's regiment is just like, <gasps> dude. Do that you know guy... what I mean? He sleeps like this. <laughs> like, you've seen Shit's Creek, right? Yes. So where she sleeps in that, uh, the mom oh, yes. sleeps in that padding. I don't know uh, what the fuck it is for her face. Amazing. I would imagine Ryan Seacrest sleeping in that. Yeah. Something like this, or a chamber, some kind of like weird cryo like <laughs> chamber where it just like keeps him the same age and everything I can see that. yeah yeah and he probably wakes up three hours earlier than he has like just yeah. to do his morning routine morning routine like and i'm sure it's like stays on some kind of weird smoothie some kind of weird hair and face thing a little bit of yoga some meditation yeah. and then drugs because <laughs> you can't do you can't be ryan seacrest without <gasps> drugs to go to sleep and drugs to wake up you really think he's doing I, them? He's literally hosting every show that's on TV is right he? now. Yeah. What else is well, he, he hosting? He does like Ryan and Kelly. He does American Idol. He does a serious but XM. American Idol hasn't been on in so long. In so long, yeah. They just wrapped and they were doing it from home. Oh, so he did that okay. and do, did Kelly and Ryan every day as well as his serious 
XM show, so which is cocaine. every day. So he has to be on cocaine. 100 percent And then he has to be on fentanyl to go to sleep or some kind of, you know, he has the Michael Jackson thing where the doctor comes and like puts him to sleep. Oh, I'm sure he has people. Right? Yeah. So I, you just can't do that kind of schedule without drugs. I wonder what. And uh, that's what's so shitty. Like, I don't know if I was talking to you, maybe someone else of like this mom blogger that was like just amazing doing everything you know she was the mom that everyone wanted to be like and she was in such great shape and she was just like crafts all the time with the kids and then finally came out later she was like I'm on Adderall like lots of it and you're like dude what the fuck and I feel like it just makes stuff like our level of you know attainability Mm -hmm. or level that we're trying to keep up with is not real correct so it's like either they're super rich and they have nannies around the clock or whatever and you're just like how come i can't do that and you're like because you're not on drugs and you don't have a million dollars yeah, like so well because we're always comparing that's just always. human being in us and being like oh wow she can do that how does she do it all how she does, does she it, do all? it all and you don't see the you intricate see details it. and of they their usually life. yeah and they're usually mm-hmm. just like i just do like a smoothie and oh, i yeah. do yoga and stuff and i just like drink a lot of water and that's why i look beautiful and i can just be up all day and you're like no. Thank you actually for telling me that you were on Adderall. Correct. Do you know what I mean? Or so then I could be like, okay, good. Even beauty secrets. I can't stand the beauty secrets. It's like, how oh, have you look so young? You have not aged in 30 years. Instead of being like, oh, eat right, exercise, Just hydrate. Just tell us what you're really doing. Sunscreen. Right? Just be yeah. like, bitch, I get Botox. I've been slowly getting everything throughout the years. Is it little by little? When Jennifer Lopez says that she just like Dude. gets a lot of sleep and doesn't really drink, I want to just be like, bro, Mm-mm. are you insane? Like, we know it. what you fucking do. Like, I mean, don't get me don't wrong. You just say, I believe that she does do that. I know she because does. Because her body those. is amazing. But I also feel like, too, that she probably gets cool sculpting or whatever the fuck else. Cool they sculpting. Can, she gets micro needling. She gets Botox. She, she has gets all these things. things. But she does it little bits, yes. right? Where it's very natural looking. Yes. She's not trying to look fake. It doesn't really give her much, you know, anything that's not taking her out of the game for a bit. Yeah. I mean, she's got fucking bajillions of dollars, man. Yeah. She can do whatever. And by the way, I was looking up Seacrest's uh, net worth because I wanted to see how much he he makes. According to Forbes, last year, dude, even just last year, Seacrest made 71.5 million in income from all of his separate endeavors. His net worth. Oh, he produces the Kardashians? He does? Yeah. I mean, are you kidding? Oh, I forgot about that. The amount of time that that guy is just on the phone, like fielding fucking situations because he's producing all this stuff. Is he in a relationship? It. He was. With a girl? Yeah. Oh, see, I always thought he was gay. Um, it's Jury's out still. I mean, oh, okay. you can still have a beard. He seems like one of those guys that like would not want to put that out there. Oh, I guess. Why not, though? I don't it's know. him. I don't know. You know what I mean? I feel like at this would... point, I don't know why. At this point, it's hard to see why people would be in the closet. Like everyone has their own reasons, right? Sure. But like, it's so, it seems to me, it seems like it, we're all good, right? Supreme Court, like we're good. We're, we're good. We're, we're all, all accepting. Good, we right? understand. Yeah. I mean, that's a thing now. Like, you, love is love, man. <laughs> yeah. There's like, we're no all judgment. Good. We're all good. Yeah. I guess everyone has their, you know, however they were raised or whatever, why you would be in the closet. But I just think like, Someone like Seacrest, like, why wouldn't sure. he just be like, yeah, I'm gay. I always was curious. I think he's gone too that's far now. Uh, Do you know what I mean? Where you're like, okay, what about all those girls? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, maybe he's gone too far. Yeah. Not sure. Apparently his net worth is estimated to be between 410 to 430 million. That's crazy. His net worth, 410? This is, what, this is what this cheat sheet says. Yes, because, I mean, let's just go kardashians alone producing executive producing the kardashians for however 10 years it's been on like yeah bro you know what's so crazy to me when you think about how he got started i vividly remember the first season of american idol it was him and the dude with the brown hair right both they were two yeah there was two guys who hosted that show that's right it was the other one and seacrest one and brown haired guy (laughs) yeah Yeah, that's all brown haired guy yeah that's Um, right right and that was when Kelly Clarkson and Justin Garino or something, yes. right? With yes. the like frilly hair were the top two because uh, both of them were fucking fantastic. Yeah. Um, of course, Kelly won. And then from that moment on, he was really the only host that came back. And that sho- show yeah. 
grew in popularity. Yeah. And then this dude just fucking exploded. Exploded. Yeah. And he's a workaholic. And so he just doesn't say no. I'm curious what he even did before. All um, of that. So he actually was a radio DJ in Ross's hometown in Georgia. So he's from like literally where Ross is from, Alpharetta really? or something. Yeah. And so he was like, he's been doing this literally since he's in high school. Being Damn. on the radio, hosting stuff. So he's living out his dream, man. Yeah. Or I feel he's, like he's just doing what? Everything. He's just doing what he's an expert in because he's been doing it forever, right? Well, I so hope when for you, his sake. Yeah, he's, no. he loves it, and that he's enjoying it, and he's not just doing it for the money. Yeah, you know what I mean. I hope you he would is. hope. I hope he is too, because he just does it Cause all day. That's long. what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if that's your whole life, yeah, and you're making millions off of it, I know some people are like, dude, if I'm making millions, whatever. If I hate it, I hate it. But me personally. Oh, so you still like, have, you have to a choice, do it all day. He has clearly a choice. for him. Yeah. I feel like with his background now and all the opportunities extended his way, he can choose whatever the fuck he wants now. Right. Uh, what's his name? I don't even know who he is, but he is a um, reporter for E! News. Okay. Um, he went on America's Got Talent. Oh. Um, do you want know to talk about? Yeah. Who is that guy? Uh, I've seen him before. Yo. Something He's yo. one of the interviewers, reporter. Yeah, Michael, Michael yo. yo. It might be Michael Yo. Yeah, let me look it up. He, I guess, I don't know if he quit his job or what, but he did tell his wife, like, these might, these next two years might be rough because I'm going to pursue my um, dream. Stand up, yeah. Stand up. Yeah. And his wife, oh, my God. I think this is what made me, this is, this is the point where this did make me cry, right? And, they, like, yeah. I had the cry moment. Yeah. Whereas his wife is like, I love you. I believe in you. I Right? She yeah. just had his back 100%. And I was like, Whoa. this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Right? Because who knows if they're struggling yeah. right now and what yeah. they're going through. Yeah. And he fucking crushed it, dude. I laughed at his stand Yeah, yeah. And by He's the way. He's been doing it for a while. So, like, oh, it, was it was weird good. to s actually see him on America's Got Talent because I was like, I thought he did stand up but i had no maybe idea not yeah and i kind of felt bad because they did not have an audience there because of yeah. the whole covid thing so it's i mean to do stand up to only four people and it's that's crickets harder. in there that's yeah. hard harder he did amazing and of that's course they awesome. played the sad music at the end and of everything. course and it was slow motion yeah and he was like hugs his wife yeah. and then we're crying but agt will make you cry it make, makes me cry every but time. some of some of it i'm like okay that's a yeah, lot yeah yeah like yeah no does everything you know after a while i'm like no, no. And, and and people can hate me for saying this but chris and i have had this very honest discussion that sometimes we feel with some people yeah on there who are contestants that they got picked because of their story of the story more so than for their talent 100 because we're sitting there and we're like okay so this is this is a talent competition don't get me wrong they were good but they weren't great yeah yeah but because of their story it's yes. like okay yes right and so Chris is like, what the fuck? Another choir? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're going to hear about this whole like long because, thing. And, yeah. And, and yeah. while he's like, I can only imagine what it's like growing up in an area like that. Sure. And blah, blah, blah. Sure. And yes, that's really unfortunate. Also, at the same time, he was like, they're real. They weren't really that great. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Go the buzzer. The voice? Did you ever watch The Voice? Uh, I didn't really get into it that It was a as big much. joke in that where it's like every time they would, you know, do the story of whoever the contestant is mm -hmm. it had to be and they're really trying to search sometime I for know. like a story where like one time in high school and you're like bro like it doesn't have to be sad but i don't know why can you imagine i i should make a parody video like, about what? this and be like you know do like do interview style and be like yeah so there's this one time in my life was really hard yeah where i had to eat a ham sandwich instead of turkey and it, it was turkey. like ruined me and my mom knew she knew I don't like ham. I was scarred for the rest of my and life. I'm scarred for life. And then you like, sing. <laughs> and then, yeah. Beautifully. Oh my God. That, or like, it's such a horrible story. And then the person like sings so bad. And you're like, oh. But that's what I do. I'm like, if they're editing it, I'm like, if they have a really sad story, like, they're not going to let be bad. it be bad. Correct. Right? Like, they're not going to fucking do they're, The days of that was weird. Do you remember? Okay, so you're talking about American Idol in the beginning. Do you remember when, like, the culture of it was to like make fun of people yep. to be mean to them to get like who was that guy mentally she challenged she bad yeah. oh, mentally man. yes Simon challenged was... people <laughs> to sing and make fun of them yeah that was the world dude, dude remember that, was that? The world back then i love the shift now that's crazy of things being like 
very supportive. supportive and nice and like even if you aren't good we're gonna like send you off with like try again or whatever mm -hmm. um i don't know when that shift happened but i think american idol just got maybe it was the she bang like it got to a point where you're like now you're having crazy homeless people come in from the street mm -hmm. film the audition make fun of it like that's just insane people particularly watched that show at the beginning like the auditions was yeah through the roof skyrocketing yeah they're um, all their numbers because of the fact because of that it was a sh shit show after shit show after shit show yeah what's Simon gonna say next is Paula gonna stick yeah. up for them is she gonna be like oh let's prove up to yo dog I have yo I know. dog that's a no for that's me a no dog for me dog um fucking dumbass fat <laughs> motherfucker but um the I think the voice kind of changed I know you didn't watch it but it was so weird to see it was really refreshing and it took off it did well and i think people saw that like if you're actually nice to people supportive and also if you have auditions where the people are vetted first where like you know they can Correct. sing it's not like it's gonna be like a crazy person you've already talked to them they've had a pre-audition mm -hmm. so everyone that comes in and auditions is at a level that's like okay you're maybe not the best right now. You maybe have some stuff to work on, but it's not going to be like annihilating you. And no one was mean. And I just fucking like it. Well, I did watch some. And the thing at the beginning, and I, the thing that I thought was so awesome about that show, The yeah. Voice, was that you have superstars. Right? Oh, yeah. You have fucking some Real of the ones. best singers that ever are out currently there. working, Giving not like you, has been. Correct. Yeah. Not doing this to fluff up their career. Yeah. For a fucking season, because yeah. they have like a new single coming out. Exactly. That they haven't came out with one in a decade. Yeah. Except Christina, though, she didn't come out with music for a while, but she's an icon, though. To yeah. me, right? No, to have her on was like, holy shit. Like Correct. every single person. Because her voice is fucking yeah, immaculate. Yeah. yeah. But to have them like talk, talk to them like normal people, give them advice, coach literally them, coach mentor them, mentor them, like sit there with them and play the music yeah. and sing with them. That is amazing. I talk to Ross about this sometimes where. I remember that culture even back then with uh, celebrities where like Jennifer Lopez, remember, used to be a bitch diva. And it was like, really? Yeah. Like you would hear stories. She's not anymore. She's super nice because the culture now is be super nice to everyone and more people will like you. We'll right? Like but you. back in the day, it was like diva, crazy writer where she would want like everything white and only roses that are like, oh, see, fresh I didn't hear that blah, was blah, Lopez. Blah, I heard that was um, there's Mariah, Mariah Carey. Carey. Beyonce I, was a little bit like that. I mean, apparently Mariah Carey is still like that. Yeah, but she's like she's writing that. Old, so she is actually you can look at her and see the way it used to be because she's holding on to that where like oh, man. it was it it was cooler to have people like waiting on you and like peons and you would treat people oh like shit. And like now I feel like That's it's so cooler. Right. And it's a people. Well, thank God. Celebrities treating people realize, with respect is, yeah. is now cool. Is now cool. Right. And oh, it's God. now like in style to be like nice to people, to help people that are trying to come up behind you, yeah. to like mentor people, to like not fucking to sign uh, sit there and sign autographs the whole time even though you don't want to yeah. and not just like walking by like fuck you taking pictures with everyone and i, I don't remember like the shift but i like it why people love post malone so much yeah you know what i mean it's he's, because of that yeah fact he's you never hear like a bad story about him no. like being shitty to a fan or anything and he it treats them out. just like normal people yeah. and he hangs out with them and like he goes above and beyond and it's because he wants to. Yeah. It's not because he's doing it for like charity. Yeah. You know? Yeah. The, I will still always think back. I wish I saved this video, but it was like all these old women at a winery. So, you know, oh they're fucking gosh. wasted drinking Oyster. wine and mimosas. Yeah. And they're all in their 50s. All like cougars, too, by the way. Yeah, Very like, like attractive. And they're all hugging on him saying post Mr. Post. Mr. Post. I'm posty. They're like, Mr. Post. Is he Post. loving it? Oh, he was loving it. And he had his arms around them. Oh, he's the best. Right. And he's just the best. not anything weird or like sexual, but just yeah, be yeah. like, yeah, hey, ladies, yeah. you know, and just hanging out with them, like legit hung out with them for the at the winery for like three, four hours. And drinking with them. And they were said drink. that. that. And I was like, can drink, that's dude. so awesome. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, you know, I, I, I can only imagine what it would be like being a celebrity and having like people in your business 24 seven. Yeah. In your face 24 yeah. seven. Always asking for yeah. autographs. And I, I can understand there gets to a point where I'm sure it's a lot. 
I'm sure. And I'm sure there's stories that don't actually reflect who these people are. But Correct. But I feel like there's a respectful way now, to still go about it. Yeah. I just think now it's more part of the job. Whereas before they were like, oh, like, yeah. oh I have to, Please you know, me. and now it's part of the job. You're on Instagram. Everyone's videoing, ev- you know, everything. taking everything you do. You got to be nice because they're going to catch it on camera yeah, and then will. you're going to be the fucking bitch. So whether it's changed because of that or it's changed because it's just in style now. I to have be a feeling cool, it's all of it. It's all of it. Right. Um, And I like it. Yeah, me too. I saw a video of Justin Bieber coming out and I guess he was at a restaurant with his wife mm-hmm. and there was a whole slew of fans out in the front mm-hmm. and he's coming out and one of his, like, it seemed like one of the bouncers, the security guys, I don't think it was his dude. I think it was someone from the restaurant yeah. was getting kind of aggressive and like yelling. And, um, Bieber was like, dude, calm down, man. Yeah. And then talked to the people like normal said, Hey, Hey, I, Hey guys, I respect you. I know you guys want to say hi, but can you guys just respect us? Yeah. Just let us get to our car after this. Yeah. And they did. And guess what? You speak to them like a normal human instead of being Love like, it. right above it, above better, it, better. Yeah. Um, and I think we realize, and especially with the quarantine, we realize that celebrities aren't actually shit, <laughs> <laughs> right? If you don't have the makeup, if you aren't able to go out to the restaurant, if you don't have the bodyguard, if you don't have the fucking camera you're crew, just like us. you're just a fucking girl with a bad angle like this, oh, talking on the fucking show. Like, why don't, move it up? Who doesn't know that? Right. Put it here. There's Why are you talking down into it like this? Teeny boppers who can use their phone. Talk to one of them. Better than a <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Like, why aren't we utilizing these fucking, these little teeny boppers that know this shit, this whole They're like Zoom the world. Talented, this, man. I know. This shit that I see on TikTok. And I'm telling you, if you're still one of those people who are like, oh, TikTok, it's so stupid. Get on there. Yeah. I'm telling you the minute that you check it out, you're going to be addicted to these damn videos and you're going to be so impressed yeah. with what people can make. Yeah. And the humor that's out there. Like, it's expansive. Oh my God. I, get I mean, I don't even holes, think I'm not dude. funny, but I sometimes make some funny videos. Yeah. Kind of funny sometimes. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not even close. I'm the bottle of the barrel scratching at that shit. I'm like the poor person funny. Like, it's, it's all pity. editing and you're good at but editing. You know what I mean, though? Yeah. But like, I see that now in the whole TikTok world. I'm like, dude, people are, this is rad. Yeah. And to see their expression. And a lot of people like to express themselves in yeah. these manners and i think that's fucking incredible exactly you know and yeah i hope that this supportive fucking thing moves to social media a little bit Me more too. but i don't think it will but i would like it to be cool to be fucking nice to so people. supportive like, i think cool to be nice and not a fucking like well i think bitch, there are sadly and just being a pe- i don't know if i'm being a pessimistic here or what but i think there sadly will always be the bs that you'll see online only because People, it's very different in person. Yeah. Right? No, that's true. Someone's not being held accountable online. They can say whatever they want to without any repercussions because they're not seeing what it's doing to you physically, yeah. mentally, emotionally. Yeah. Right? How it's affecting you. Whereas in person, it's very, it's real. Yeah. So to me, I feel like there will always be some people who just think that this invisible, like this wall yep. right here protects them from things and they can just treat people however they want. Yeah. And honestly, it's fucking sad. You know what? And and here's the worst part too: is hurt people, hurt people. Yeah, that's what it is. Like when you look back at it, it's like, yeah. dude, you, what's wrong with you? There's no. there's obviously something so, there's something going on in your life that you're just taking out on everyone. Yeah. So yeah, I mean that's like one of the big cons of social media that I can't stand. Yeah. You know, it's a place for people that are going through something to shit it out on everyone else Jeez, I know. um i hear giorgio cleaning in there I so know, i feel so like I. we we will g- we <laughs> need go. to we need to get in there and help him but we do. i'm glad we had the party me too um the next time i see you and we do a show in person will be in texas i yeah it will be which yeah. by the way your friend brooke the other night was like when are you gonna be in texas uh so yeah. blah, 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 blah. Yeah. and yeah. i was like i don't know i'm sure i'll be there often She'll be there. <laughs> She'll be there. I was really surprised. I was like, yeah. she's going to be there. Yeah. I was like, good for her. Yeah. That's awesome. I was like, I was like, any, and I told all the girls too, um, you're going to be out there probably before that. But I was just like, I'll get a place downtown and then, you know, Ross can whatever, watch the kids yeah. or my mom will be there or whatever. And I come stay with you guys downtown and party. Cause I, you know, we're half an hour out, so I'm not going to be hanging out there that much. Yeah. It'll be like, if people come into town, I can hang out with them there. But 
you know it'll be fun it'll be fun it'll, it'll be, be fun. good i'm glad we did the crazy party last night and i'm glad you didn't kill yourself i know i'm glad we all yeah trying to do flips glad you didn't <laughs> the fuck am glad I? you didn't do that backflip like dan fuck? was fucking telling I you know, to right? jesus christ well we do have um a broette nomination oh, okay perfect. i know and i was i'll get to it because so brooks uh spenner who has actually been part of the DB community for four years. Okay. Sent this in. And I love that she said this. She goes, I really love your guys' podcast. Way more than the guy's podcast. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Thank, Thank you, you, Brooke. So anyway, she goes, I want to nominate my best friend, Jess, for Drinking Brewette of the Week. Because she and I are both Marine Corps veterans. And she is a nursing student right now. And she's working her ass off to earn her degree. She goes, I just graduated. And we've been each supportive of each other. And we've been each other's support systems through our college lives. And she has now found the time to give me extra support as my hubby goes through Air Force boot camp. Oh, wow. So, and that's hard because you're not seeing him yeah. like for what, eight weeks, nine weeks? Yeah. So she goes, so she's my best friend, the best of best friends you could possibly imagine. So cheers to you, Jess. Um, I love you so much. You're so amazing. Thank you for being my best drinking buddy. So, oh, I got goosebumps. Girl. I love this shit. I, I love, love the girl this love. shit. Right? This love is what it. it's all about. It's what it's all about. This is what we're doing. Talking to people last night about, you know, the guys that liked our show and like knowing that, you know, it's not exactly for them, but they're happy for us, supportive and... I don't know. I know. I just love it. I know. So that's all That's all you need in your life is like good people who support you and it seemed like they're doing it back and forth and they're there for each other throughout hard times and the rough times and husband leaving times and that's fucking awesome. I know. So. I love okay, it. guys. Well, oh. I know. I'll see you. Until um, Texas in person. Don't. <laughs> don't. Don't. Don't fucking cry. What are you doing? I did this yesterday. I'm hungover. That's I know. You're hungover. I'm just okay. hungover and like emotional. I fucking love um, you. But I I'm going to see you. You're going to be out. You're yes. going to be out. And like, I'll just buy you a ticket next month. <laughs> no, we're gonna, I'll be out. I'll probably be out there every month. Okay. I fucking love you. I love you too. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move. Yeah, don't show